Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Dirty Socks. Today, we are back with part two of the first episode of Back to the Future. So, yeah, let us play. Nice bike. Huffy? Uh, Huffy? I'm not Huffy. I'm passionate. Passionate about justice, safety, law, and order. Uh, Never mind. Um... Oh, Edna. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? You can meet in the park. No, that's no good. Too many of the members sleep in the park. I know a place where the Stay Sober okay, Society can meet. I did not mean to hit the oh, park. Where? Uh, I mean, at the... The park. Brown Residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Okay. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh? Which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses. Let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But if you're well-connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? The Orphanage. My, how those little ragamuffins can eat. All right, Edna. Just think of all those poor unfortunates, and hold your nose. Mr. Donnelly! Okay. Come on, let me check some of these hints. You set up the... Okay, so we gotta go to the soup kitchen. Let's just go. Hey, cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh... Soup. Soup soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. 
special. Uh, okay. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right. Just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Can I have some soup now? Uh, excuse me. Yeah? Can I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Do not be so rude about it. I just want some soup. God, dude. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Adding parsley? parsley? It might help to, uh... Compliment the mellow flavor of the cabbage. Compliment the mellow... What are you talking about? Trust me. Hmm. You might be on to something, kid. Let me see what I got. Kitchens for management only, Rummy. Whoa! Looks like these pipes go into the basement. Cool. Okay. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. No, oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. What? Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well... I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety, right. We'll okay. score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Uh... I feel like we need him to move that cabinet for something. Okay, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Salt? Salt? What, do you think it's too bland? Too mild? I didn't put too much pepper in it, did I? I just think it could use a little more salt. No accounting for taste these days. Okay, so that he moved it. Maybe I should go to the door. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. What can I use to keep the freaking door open?
All right, I need a hint. <laughs> we suspect that the tubes are strong. You can't get into the kitchen, but you can still close the object. Oh, yeah. Emmett could help. Crap. Now all that's gone. Well, it's back, okay. Emmett. Yes? Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Um... Let me try the sweep. Is it any good? Nope. I still think the soup needs more flavor. Eureka! Oh. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm, I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Okay, well, maybe he was knocking on the pipes. That may be important. Okay, so we need the tables propped up. Uh, maybe let's talk to Cuba. Excuse me. You talking to me? Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not so well to do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. Okay, I'm just confused. I still think the soup needs more flavor. Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Okay, Come good. now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. Oh. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. Bye, Edna. Edna well, picked see you later. up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. All right, let's go get it for Benda. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon.
did you finish the story you interviewed me for? About Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. Okay. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Uh, wait there! Sonny! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're a bunch of really great guys. We don't know that. They're really polite. No, that. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. I'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible! Think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, I'm, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Now all we gotta do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my patent. Yeah, your, Yeah. Uh, patent. Let's go to that subpoena. It's Kid Tannen. What the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here! How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? All right, um... I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. And he's my very employee. busy today. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. Oh, yeah, bro. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Can I have some peanuts? 
Why not? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Hey, kid. Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! Oh, no? What'd you do? Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good, Ron! Ron! Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Damn it! A monkey out of Kid Tannen. Uh oh. Hey. Now, fix me up. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. Duck. Marty, how goes the escape plan? Guess what? In order to free up your younger self to complete the rocket drill, I'm gonna have to serve my own grandfather with a subpoena. Great Scott! Actually, his name's Arthur. He's Kid Tannen's accountant. Marty, whatever you do, it's vitally important that you don't alter your grandfather's future in any meaningful way. The consequences... Could be catastrophic. I know, got it. Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. All right, I need more hints. Oh, yeah. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Yay, Einstein. Where's he going? Only one way to find out. There's Doc. Huh. Deja vu. Oh, yeah, that's where Edna lived. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. If y'all don't know what a subpoena is, you're out of luck. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. I have to hand the subpoena to Arthur, not throw it. Someone's playing tricks on me. Oh, come on. What now? He's hey, definitely Arthur, a McFly. Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? I'm your grand... Uh, mother's great nephew. 
You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. Dang it. Um. Hint? Mm -hmm. Oh, we have to go get something from the town square. I know what it is. We need to get Kid Tannen's voice. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches. Oh, shoot. There, you scrawny little runt. Get down here right now. Don't make me angry, Smucko. Get down here and face the I don't the want music. to record them right now. You... Einstein, help. Lay off. Get away from me, you crazy Get mutt. Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram. Where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! Don't let him see me, don't let him see me, run, run, run! Let's go, Emma and Einstein, we gotta go back in time! Don't let him see me, oh! Alright, now we gotta go to Arthur's. What now? Hey, so weird. What now? Kid, he's not here. Oh, wait, first I gotta give him the subpoena. Arthur McFly, yeah, got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena, wait, nothing's in his hand. Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into Kid Tannen. Take it back. You can't oh, get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? 
What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on. <laughs> All right, so we're going to the lab now. We're going to Doc. the lab. I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good. Come on, let's go. Time waits for no man. Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! Tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry, I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Emmett! Uh, coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! Maybe I should just get struck by lightning! Would that make you happy? Turn the electric front? Oh god. You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under! This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel! Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Oops. Pressuring me to be something I'm not! There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Crap, I threw him. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? I don't know what's eating you, father, but I wish you would go on a diet. Who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. <laughs> Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, halfway there. Damn it! Keep up the good work. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. What are they feeding you in that? Shout! Sure. What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? No, no one, father. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start. Your ancestors are no! spinning in their grave. 
It's not what I meant to do! Just pay attention to what I say. Damn it! I'm not through with you yet! I... Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Umbrons have been officers of the court since God's heavenly spark first gave rise to men, Emmett. One great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Please. Really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? You keep bellowing like that! I thought you were a scientist! Emmett! Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? I'm trying to spin this argument around to my failings. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. Emmett! Getting so hot under the collar, Pop. What will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative pine quarters? Sunday. How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? Oh, what do you say? I am shocked at your behavior, young man. Oh, it's the food, isn't it? Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Damn it! Man, I am doing bad. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Father, why don't you ever listen to me? Why must you always scatter condescension my way? Scatter? What the frick? Rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? Are you serious? What did you do? Emmett! If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me! This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Pressure? You're a child. You don't know anything about pressure! Oh, maybe your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. Oh, what use is a microorganism for law? I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Pressure? You're a child. You don't know anything about pressure. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Your ancestors are spinning in... Almost there. Are you serious? Emmett! Uh, coming, father! We're not done yet? Stop being such a crank! Should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria! If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's black. What the heck? Just pay attention to what I say. Yeah, but Damn it! To release me from your unattainable expectations. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. No, I did not hit that. Ah! I thought you were a scientist. I am, so shut up. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. Don't you go feed the ducks, father. You really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? A vent? Eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Why must you always scatter condescension my way? You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? Shake. I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? 
hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Man, that took a you okay? Time. You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... No! Oh. What? Uh-oh. Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill, and you and, and I can... I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for D.C. leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Sonny, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about, I'd say... I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Okay. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start. supposed to be duck they're moving him to another facility for safekeeping oh I better go get a quote from the police chief paddy wagon intercepted suspect slain and they're still after him but how am I gonna rescue him now hmm at least the rocket part came out of this in one piece Oh, I could put it on Edna's bike. All right, I'm coming, Doc. Here we go. <laughs> Marty, you're still in danger, Doc. I've got to get you out of here. What's that? I said you're still in danger! Never mind, never mind! Get me out of here, and we'll talk later! <laughs> 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 
Yes, I can take that tire off. but that would do any good. Shut tight. No good, the window shut. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Crap. Tannen's driving the truck. Kid Tannen? That explains a lot. The keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. You need a protraction of pertinence. What? A reach extender. I can't break the lock. There's a key, but it's probably up front. I'll be back. Maybe I could have Doc distract him. I'll be back! I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Nah. I'd better keep an eye on this. It's really my only way of keeping track of Doc's fate. I'd better keep an eye on this. It's really my only way of keeping oh track of God. Doc's fate. think so I don't know what to do I'm stuck at this point they won't budge That's what I did. I said I was going to ask Doc, but it didn't let me. I need a distraction. Leave it to me. Hey, hey driver. You're driving too fast. Watch how you take those curves. What are you trying to do? Kill me? 
Not quick enough. Again? No problem! Hey, hey, driver! I demand to know where you're taking me, and how long is it going to be till we get there? And I want to see my lawyer right now! Do you hear me? Shut up! Dang it! Can you distract him again? No problem! Hey, hey, driver! seat distinctly uncomfortable. Do you have a pillow I can sit on? Hey, I'm talking to you, driver. Don't ignore me. You! Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you know that? I have my sources. Sagan. Ow! Son of a bitch! We need something to get rid of these cops! What sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline? Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! To be continued. What the heck happened? Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on... Episode 2, part 1. Bye! Oh wait, no. Let's watch in the next episode. What's happening? I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over!
Uh-oh. See you guys later. Bye-bye.